Good day. It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I figured I'd spend a few minutes uh, walking through the welcome screen and more importantly taking a look at the interface list. So this is uh, the welcome screen when you start up the Wireshark application in Windows and you'll see interface list, start, capture, and then capture options. So I'm just going to cover all three of these real quick. Uh, the interface list is really, really important because you see here I've got a local area network connection, wireless network connection 2, and wireless network connection. Well, sometimes you'll see VPN adapters, VMware adapters, docking station adapters, and sometimes it's not obvious which is which. For example, if I want to capture from my wireless card, which one of these two adapters is my wireless card? You can start a capture on one. If it's not doing anything, then go to the other, but that's very inefficient. I'm going to go to my interface list, click. When you do that, this little box pops up and you'll see local area connection, wireless network connection, and then wireless network connection as well. And if you take a look here, you'll see one of them, the numbers start to increment and then go gray. That means no data. And then when there is data on the line, then the numbers become bold, not gray. And you'll know exactly which interface you're working with. In this case, it's going to be my wireless network connection, not the number two, but the regular one from here. I can hit a check mark uh, with Wireshark version uh, 1.10 and higher. Uh, you can actually do captures from multiple cards at the same time. We're not going to cover that now, just that's why there's a checkbox there. If I want to do a quick filter, I can also hit the options button. Brings up a similar screen here. You can see wireless network connection is selected. The IP address of my Wi Fi adapter is now visible. The other one does not have an IP address. So that's another way to quickly know which one I'm working with. And then from here I can do a simple capture filter, for example, host uh, google.com. So you can do a capture filter for a host and then an IP address or a name. The name could be a DNS name, WINS name, LDAP name, whatever naming service that you're using or name resolution service that you're using would be applicable in there as well. So from this uh, simple screen, we went from the interface list and now we're in the capture options without having to go there. We did that straight from the interface list as well. From this screen, you'll also see things such as uh, capture filters for, um, I'm sorry, capture files. You can put a file name here and have a ring buffer and then capture a trace file every meg or every minute, that sort of thing. Or just a plain old stop trigger. If I want to stop capturing after a meg of data has been captured, it'll just stop. So that's that's the screen you kind of start with. You should be very comfortable with this screen because that's where you do 99% of your work. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.